doesn't support the iOS 6, which doesn't support Pokemon, which means I can't play Pokemon Go! What's up everybody, welcome to Sit Down with Jason. Today is going to be just an introductory episode, just so you get the feel of the show. It's just going to be me sitting down talking. This is interesting, this is YouTube, this is... Please don't go. Anyway, so I've got a few updates for you. First off, the video project that I've been working on for two years is finally coming to fruition. That's right, two years. Before you get like all crazy about it, I haven't been working on this every single day for two years. I started it two years ago, realized that I was shit, was told by a good friend of mine to get good, and then tried to get good. Came back a few months later, I was still shit. So I left again, come back a few months later, I was still shit. So he left again, come back a few months later. You get the idea. You get the idea. And then finally, I decided that this is the project I was working on. It was pretty big, took a lot of skill, it was out of my league. And then what, I was like, what if I just do this instead? And now I'm doing this. A lot less skill intensive. Still gonna be about the same thing though. And I'm finally good enough to do this. Not this. I'm not good enough to do this. I'm good enough to do this. And overall, I'm just very excited to get uh, started and working on this. It's actually my first time doing something quote-unquote professional in uh, After Effects, which is pretty cool. Neat little program that most people would at least know about. Also, we've got another little mini update. The other show that I've been working on for like about a month or two, it's also becoming uh, relatively close to actually beginning the uh, process. I've done all of the script writing, and I'm currently looking for voice actors. So if you consider yourself a voice actor, feel free to check in the description or comments or somewhere be below. I'll put a link here. I, I don't think you can click on that, but if I move it here, I think maybe you can click on that. So you go ahead and click on that if you think you're... Oh, shit, I dropped it. Uh, but yeah, it's now in the description because I dropped it. That's funny. And if you, you think you're a voice actor, go check that out. I'm looking for people that can do uh, unique... Uh, unique. I'm looking for people that can do new characters as well as characters that already exist. For example, there's gonna be like one guy that's named Shannon. He's like super chill, kind of just lazy, hangs about, nothing really interesting about him. Have fun with that one, be whoever you like. Whereas there's other characters like Gragas, based on the League of Legends champion Gragas. I need Gragas for that. I don't need your interpretation of him. If you can get Perfect Gragas. You'll, you'll get the position, I guarantee it. I'm having a real hard time finding Gragas. HAPPY HOUR INCOMING! <laughs> I could just totally be Gragas. Uh, probably not. Oh well. Next point, we're gonna move on to a story. I had a little bit of an intervention with my friends last night. We discussed a few things. For example, one, I'm not very uh, knowledgeable or skilled in anything that's like advanced sex. Like, I know about the mummy and the daddy, and they get together. I didn't know about things like what BBW st stood for, or what a what a pie in the sky was. And they just sat down and just made fun of how innocent I was for a good hour. And then we had an intervention on the fact that I'm a pussy, and there's this girl that I kind of like. I just wanted to, like, see, see if there was something else there, and I was like, alright, I'm gonna ask her out, and I couldn't. And then eventually I did. But these guys were like, don't worry, the best way to like get a girlfriend is to cover all your bases. Don't focus on one girl. So they got me on Tinder and they decided to rewrite my Tinder bio for me. I'll show you what we got here. <clears throat> Anus destroyer in the streets. Anus destroyer in the sheets. I destroy anuses. <laughs> Not much else. I also have a masters in cunnilingus. Oh god. So I haven't changed this yet. I'm going to, because I don't know if that's ever going to get me anyone. I, I, I don't... I, I, I don't have a whole lot of experiences with anuses, unfortunately, but most of the time they have not been destroyed. So this is a little bit false. I also... I studied in... Uh, Cunnilingus. I didn't get my masters, unfortunately. I, I just got a diploma in Cunnilingus. And, uh, I haven't really got many job opportunities from that, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Oh, I'm so lonely. Moving on to a new topic of discussion, sleep. 
I have had very little sleep in the past two months. I think I've recently been suffering suffering from insomnia. So I reached out to my Facebook friends to try and get some tips, and I, I got some pretty good ones, like, uh, you should take a bath before you go to bed, a nice warm bath. We don't have a bath here. Uh, you should just, like, put some lavender on your pillow. I, I don't know where to get lavender. Uh, you should just go for a run. Do I look like I run, like, at all? You know the only running I do is when I run these streets, destroying anuses. <laughs> Joking aside though, I think I might have to start taking up for 3am runs. And you know what? That's gonna go absolutely perfectly with my new Pokemon Go app. Oh wait, I don't have Pokemon because my phone is shitty. So no, I'm just gonna be running around at 3am at night trying to get to sleep, not even catching Pokemon. And people are gonna be out there at 3am with their phones catching the Eevees, getting the Beedrills and whatever, and they're gonna look at me and go, <laughs> what a fucking loser, what's he running for? He doesn't have any Pokemon. I'm like, uh, I really wanna play Pokemon Go. But, I digress. Don't need to worry about that. I'll probably end up getting a new phone eventually, which means I can play Pokemon Go. However, I still can't sleep. I've, like, I sometimes go to bed at like 1, 2, 3 a.m. sort of thing, just because I do a lot of my work at night. And... You would think that, like, if I go to bed at, like, 2 or 3, at worst, I would get to sleep at, like, 4, maybe even 5 a.m. Not always. This morning, I tried to go to sleep at about 3.30. I saw the sunrise, and then I finally got to sleep. Now, this isn't too bad. What happened a few weeks ago was I went to bed at 1 a.m., which is an early night for me. I went to bed and I, I couldn't get to sleep. I like, checked my phone like once every half an hour to an hour just to check what the time was, and I was still laying fully awake. Like I wasn't moving, I wasn't really thinking about anything intensively, I was just laying in bed waiting for the sweet embrace of death, or sleep, whatever came first, I really wasn't picky at that stage, and nothing came. And then the sun rose, and when the sun rose, I started to just not feel tired. And I just realized, like, I'm not going to get to sleep today, am I? And I just got up, got out and got some breakfast and started my day. See, so yeah, this whole thing kind of sucks a little bit. Um, I found myself having a lot less energy. And I really consider myself a relatively active person. Not, like, out there running, trying to catch Pokemon active. I mean, when I'm at my computer, I'm doing, like, five things at once. I'm writing down scripts, I'm editing videos, I'm doing up uh, event contingency plans, I'm doing all the shizzle that I can do at once, and I've just been a lot less productive overall in the last uh, few weeks, just because I've been waking up tired. I've been getting on my computer just tired, watch a video tired, write down some lazy script, go, oh, I don't really like that, delete half of it, rewrite that half, and then go, okay, and then I check the time, I'm like, ah, oh, it's 6 o'clock, I'm feeling pretty tired, I think I'll watch another video, and I go watch a video, and i I don't like how low my productivity has become, and it's getting really annoying. So this is where you guys come in. Do you have a tip on how to get to sleep? If you do, feel free to post it in the comments, send it to me on Twitter, send it to me on Facebook. I don't use Facebook a whole lot, I just have to start using that, but if you do have the, the, the tips on how the hell to get to sleep, feel free to send them through. Here's a tip from one of my good friends on Facebook. Zach suggests uh, chloroform and a sock. So I just like wear wet socks to bed. I don't really see how that would help. I, I don't, it's... Oh, I think he means for, oh, okay, the, the other chloroform use. Right, right, no, I'm trying to sleep. I'm not trying to get others to sleep with me. That's different. This is me trying to go to sleep. Oh my god, I think I just made a rape joke. I'm so sorry. Inappropriateness aside, I am struggling and I am not really awake, like, at all, ever. But even, like, trying to film this episode, I'm stuttering on my words, I can't focus, and I wrote down, a, like, a little dot points onto what I could actually talk about in this episode, and I've skipped, like, four of them just because I'm like, <sighs> okay, that's enough for that point, and I just move on, i just not happy with that. I, I, I want to do more, I want to be more, so I need to sleep. I need to be the sleep. I need to do the sleep. There. That is where I do the sleep, but I don't do the sleep there, because I don't sleep. And I need to sleep. And I need to sleep. Dave, if you've got sleep tips, post them in the comments, I'll, re I'll read them up, and I'll, I'll try all of them. Like, 
Well, not all of them. I'll try all of the ones that sound like they're based on something. And if you tell me, like, oh, if you want to get to sleep, just hang yourself from a ceiling fan. I'm, I'm probably not going to try that. Although... Nah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to try that. I'm just, yeah, I, th I think I'm good for now. We'll see how it goes. So I hope you guys enjoyed episode one of Sit Down with Jason. That's all for me today. Thank you for watching the video, if, if you did. If you just skip to the end to see how it ends, spoiler, um, everyone that was in this video except for me has died awfully. I'm, I'm really sorry about that, guys. If, if you haven't died yet, don't worry. Your death will be coming in the mail in the next three to five business days. Thank you for your patience. And everyone else, I shall see you next time.